In this video, I'm going to go over the following debugging techniques and features using Selenium IDE. Starting with step-by-step -step test execution, add breakpoints, enable disable breakpoints, debugger command, pause and exception feature, uh, find target in page button, and lastly select target in page button. One of the first buttons you can use to debug is this one that allows you to run the test step by step and see if something is wrong. I can click on this button repeatedly and see if any of the steps are not working properly. Now I can also click on the line numbers to add breakpoints. And when I run the test, the test will automatically pause at the breakpoints. And then I can use the step over button to continue from there. Next, I can click on the Disable Breakpoints button to disable all the breakpoints. This will simply disable the breakpoint without removing them. And then now I can run the entire test without it pausing at the breakpoints. And then if need be, I can go back and then re-enable all the breakpoints. Next, I can also add a debugger command, which is a native JavaScript command to programmatically pause the execution. Next, I will show you how pause and exceptions feature works. To demo this, I have made changes to this test. First, it goes to google.com and then goes to seleniumhq.org and then tries to click on a locator that is non-existent. Now, if I simply run this test, you'll see that it actually goes to Selenium HQ, but it fails. But in real world, you will be wondering why it failed, why that locator is missing. In such situations, you can click on the pause and exceptions and then run the test. In this case, what happens is if there is a failure, it will come and then pause there and then you can figure out what's going on. So for example, you can click on the find target in page button to see if that target exists. If it doesn't highlight anything, then the target is actually missing. If it's missing, you can click on the select target in page button. This will help you relearn that specific locator. Here, I'm gonna select the locator for the search field and then you can notice that the target is now been updated. Now I can click on the find target in page button to highlight that element. So as you can see, Selenium IDE provides various ways for you to debug your tasks and make updates very easily.